Yeah, I do. I, I do. Uh, St. Lawrence did take a lot from me. Um, but, I mean, they also gave me uh, a lot of character and stuff like that. So, uh, I mean, uh, I want to earn my education. Uh, I want to earn the money to pay this off. Um, I'm the one that wanted to go there. Um, I mean, I could have taken the fast track. Uh, but I definitely, uh, I think he did, I couldn't. I, I just couldn't do it. Christian, what do you uh, do? What do you do for a living? I work for Verizon Wireless. And was there, since this happened, has there been a moment where you thought, oh wait, when you had the ball, did you think, did you know its potential value? Were you aware of it when you gave it back to Derek Jeter? Oh, I, I knew I could have gotten, I could have got something for it. Um, but I, I just couldn't do it. Like, I didn't even think about it until they sat me, they sat in front of me and they were like, what do you want for the ball? And what did you and say? And I just said, I just want to meet Derek. I, just, <laughs> I said I just want to meet uh, Derek Jeter and hand him the ball. And uh, maybe a couple signed balls and a jersey would be nice. And then they were like, yeah, we can make that happen. And then they came back with the uh, season tickets. And that was just amazing. I mean, uh, the experience of what I'm doing now and uh, what I had yesterday, uh, I went to the game uh, with my best friend, my girlfriend, uh, my best friend's girlfriend. I mean, the experience is worth more than any money you can have. Um, I have people coming up to me left and right saying that, uh, that I'm a true, I, I have a lot of character, I did the right thing, um, and it's really nice, especially for, uh, I believe, New Yorkers. They're, they're considered very uh, tough to themselves, uh, very aggressive people, and like, these people are very genuine coming up to me saying, uh, you know, what you really did was a great thing for, the, for Derek and uh, for Major League Baseball. And it was just spectacular. Um, it, it's just awesome. It, it was a classy thing to do, and I'm sure that when you go to sleep at night, you sleep like a baby knowing that you did the right thing. Because, I mean, Derek Jeter earned the ball. It was his home run. Yeah. However, you've got bills to pay, Christian. Let's get real here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely do have some bills. Um, but, uh, I mean, I don't pay rent. I live at home with my parents. Uh... I mean, I don't want to, but, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, it would have been nice to get my own house, and, uh, but that money's going to run out eventually. Uh, the memories I'm living now are uh, going to be forever. All right, Christian, there was a, uh, these are things there was a moment there I saw a second everybody. ago where you might have been feeling regret. Just a split second when you looked over <laughs> at the house, you looked at your basement apartment or wherever you live, and you thought, wow, what, is there anything, even one-tenth of one percent, like, maybe I should have slept on this one, taking the ball home to Highland Mills and thought about it? Um, no, not at all. <laughs> I've never second guessed it. I like it. this guy. Um, I was actually, uh, last night I was actually talking to my girlfriend. She was like, she said like, if I bought the ball home, it would have been like crazy. People would have tried to break into the house. Um, it it would have just brought a lot of danger to my family and stuff. Especially because uh, people would have got where I live, my number, and um, I didn't even think about that till last night. And I was like, "Oh, that's actually a really good idea." By the way, these tickets were a gift from your girlfriend, right? Yeah, she bought them for my uh, 23rd birthday. Oh, that's nice. Well, look, I think because you have the character that you have, and you're the person you are, you're going to more than make up for this uh, this money that you're losing out on now. <laughs> Seriously, I, I I mean that you're you're, you're obviously uh, going places. We like, thank you, thank you very much, guys. We like your style. We thank you for giving the ball back, even though, you know, we wish you could have paid off your student loans. <laughs> and getting that, gotten out of the house, right? Are you allowed to bring your yeah. girlfriend home with your parents there? <laughs> yeah, um, I hope so. Yeah, of course, for, uh, for taking cookies in the living room. I don't know what was <laughs> that exactly. Just checking. Uh, I have a 22-year-old daughter. We, we, we've set a lot of rules in the house, just, just asking. Uh, Christian, I... Um, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, uh, yeah, we've been together for almost uh, two years now, so it's, uh, when she first started coming over, she had to stay in the guest room, which was funny, <laughs> but uh, now she's on the couch, so she's moving her way closer to my room. <laughs> Christian, <laughs> all right, sorry about that. Congratulations. Listen, uh, do us a favor. You're going to be going to a lot of Yankee games this season. Would you mind? We'll, we'll, we'll call your people, but come to Good Day New York. Come to the studio, and, uh, you know, we'll chit-chat face-to-face, okay? Yeah, definitely. I'll try to make my way over there. Um, I'm going to try to make as many games as possible. And, 
I was going to enjoy myself. I'm going to enjoy the memories that are coming with us right now. Good for you. All right, Christian Lopez. Regards to you and your family. Keep up the good work. Nice style. I like that. Thank you. Thank you, guys.